Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rose Medical Lectures for those who are new here, I am Chania Rose Jacob. In this video, I want to talk about Streptococcus, its introductory part as well as classification. Let's start from the basic. The gram positive cocci can be broadly classified into Streptococcaceae and Microcociaceae based on catalyzed test. Streptococcaceae is catalyzed negative and Microcociaceae is catalyzed positive. Microcociaceae, which is catalyzed positive, consisting of Micrococcus, Stomatococcus, Planococcus, and Staphylococcus. We have already discussed about the Staphylococcus in our previous video. And the Streptococcaceae, which is catalyzed negative, consists of Streptococcus, Enterococcus, and Pneumococcus. Streptococcus, which is catalyzed, which is gram positive cocci and catalyzed negative, which is arranged as pairs or chains due to single plane of division. Here, the cell division occurs in a single plane, so they appear like pairs or chains. See in this picture, you can see right over here, it appears like pairs or chains. And actually, the members of genus Streptococcus are part of normal flora, but some members can cause some infections or diseases. Example is Streptococcus pyogenes, which will cause the pyogenic infection, Streptococcus agalactiae, which causes the meningitis in newborn, Streptococcus pneumoniae, which causes pneumonia and meningitis in all age groups. And come to the classification of Streptococcus. The Streptococcus can be classified into aerobes and faculty anaerobes as well as obligate anaerobes based on the oxygen demand. Peptostreptococci is an example of obligate anaerobe and the aerobes and faculty anaerobes can be further classified based on the hemolysis on the 5% sheep blood agar into alpha hemolysis, beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis. The alpha hemolysis is nothing but it is the partial hemolysis. You can see a small ground zone of green discoloration surrounding the colonies right over here. In this diagram you can see the greenish discoloration around the colonies. And based on the optosin sensitivity, some members which will come under the alpha hemolysis or which undergo the alpha hemolysis like Streptococcus pneumoniae or also known as pneumococcus, it is actually sensitive to the optosin. Whereas viridan streptococci, which is commonly cause the community acquired endocarditis of both native and prosthetic valve, it is actually resistant to the optosin. And uh, Streptococcus sanguinis and Streptococcus mutants, which will cause the dental cats, are a part of the viridan streptococci. And uh, next is the, we already discussed about uh, alpha hemolysis now come to beta hemolysis it is nothing but it is a complete hemolysis you can see white zone of white zone of lysis over here see here and examples of the bacteria which will undergo beta hemolysis is streptococcus pyogenes and other beta hemolytic streptococci and the members come which will undergo the beta hemolysis can be classified or grouped by the Lansfield grouping method which is based on the C-carbohydrate which is based on the presence of C-carbohydrate antigen on the cell wall and based on this we can divide it into 20 serological group group A to group 5 except group I and J like group A, group B, group C we know in this group A is also known as group A streptococci or streptococcus pyogenes which can type by Griffith typing method which is based on the M protein cell wall presence of M protein on the cell wall of this bacteria in due more than 100 serotype and the genotyping is based on EMM gene gene encoding M protein by this method uh, there are more than 200 genotypes and next is the gamma hemolysis here no hemolysis occur, so no color change. Example, the particularly the group D streptococcus will come under this category. And it consisting of enterococcus and non-enterococcus. Enterococcus, uh, how we will uh, differentiate enterococcus and non-enterococcus is by the enterococcus will grow in 6.5% NaCl 
and the other examples uh, enterococcus faecalis and enterococcus faecium will come under enterococcus and the non enterococcus example is streptococcus bovis which causes the carcinoma of the colon it's all about today's topic thank you for watching and if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you